Moving on uh, to our next topic. You've already heard that safety and flexibility of electricity supply um, aren't necessarily a contradiction um, when it comes to economic solutions. And we've also shown using the example of data centers that Siemens has the optimum solution basically uh, for you know, efficient, for reliable, and also for a, a secure power supply for every industrial sector. Now, the next presentation will also focus on intelligent, cost-efficient solutions for power distribution. And here to present two power distribution systems that are really something special, let's welcome in the studio, Steven Reiche and Josef Meyer. Welcome, gentlemen. Hi. Great to have you. Hello, gentlemen. A warm welcome from my side. My name is Stephen Archer. I'm the product manager of Cybercon SA in uh, Siemens. Hello, welcome from my side as well. My name is Josef Meyer. I'm the responsible product manager for Cybercon S4 and Alpha 3200. Um, yeah, let's talk about uh, Zivocon S8. Let's talk about uh, innovation in Zivocon S8. A uh, few minutes ago, Helmut explained about uh, new feature in power management, new devices for energy monitoring. And uh, all these devices, all this new feature we have already included in uh, Zivocon S8 although the new power center 3000. Uh, this new power center, this device, um, process and bundles energy values into evaluation systems according to DIN ISO uh, 50001 and 50003 uh, with connection into a various evaluation system. Um, the, uh, power, power center is suitable um, for location independent power monitoring and it's suitable for uh, small companies as well as big internationals. You can transmit your data into the integrated web server or in locally installed uh, power management systems. We call it on-premise solution or you transfer your data into a Siemens IoT cloud system, MindSphere. Uh, with all of these uh, possibilities, the Power Center 3000 is the main gateway in the switchboard Zivacon S8 <coughs> and is a really easy introduction into an um, into location independent power monitoring and uh, in digitalization of power distribution. Besides uh, digitalization, safety is a very important topic for our customer. Safety for people and for the installation. And to control or to improve the safety of a low voltage switchboard, Therefore, it's necessary to control and to handle arc faults. Therefore, is the integration of Dane Short as an active arc fault detection system a big step ahead for us to improve the safety in low voltage switchboard Zivacon S8. Um, the Dane Short system is constructed modular. Besides the detection of the current, you can also the, the system can detect the arc fault by point sensors or fiber optic sensors. So-called um, quenching devices with ultra-fast switching thyristors can switch off the uh, arc fault before it damaged your installation. Based on the cooperation with company Dain, we can offer a wide range of support for you, starting from planning and installation um, to, to operation. The integration of Dain Short as an active arc fault detection system will 
uh, complete uh, already existing passive solutions for ArcFold uh, safety in Ziva Connect 8. Safety is also import an, an important topic for integration of our molded case circuit breakers 3VA. The new MCCB 3VA E class with a braking capacity of 85 kA at 600. 90 volts is a base for applications in industry, uh, in data center, or in offshore. This means with uh, 3VA in Zivocon S8, you have in each case the optimal, the right solution for an MCCB for infrastructure, for, for plant protection. We have integrated the 3VA1. Uh, with a terminal magnetic tripping unit. If you have higher requirements in protection or in communication, we have integ integrated the 3VA2 with an electronic trip unit. Some words about the big one, the uh, air circuit breaker 3WL. Uh, Although this uh, ACB gets an upgrade, uh, beside a metering function with an internal voltage tap, the new communication module, COM35, enables a Modbus TCP communication in a uh, switchboard. All this new feature, all this new, new possibilities we've already included in the software-based engineering process for um, low-voltage switchboards. It's starting from uh, consultant support with software Simaras Design and Simaras Project to support the installation with Simaras Configuration up to the commissioning with uh, Power Config and Centron Power Manager. That's all for uh, Zivacon S8. Josef, I've seen in your slides a picture of a copper mine. Please explain more. Uh, yes, of course. Um, for sure, this picture is in relationship to a present development we have finished a couple of weeks ago. Um, what you can see on this picture is um, a copper mine where around about 6,000 people work for getting 200,000 tons copper out of the, the ground. Uh, for me, very impressive to see how much effort you have to spend in order to get this copper out of the ground. And we thought about how we can reduce the material efforts in things we are developing. In order to explain you what is the focus of our development, I will show you how we built up um, our standard cubicles at the moment. What you can see on this pic is on top there is a main bus bus system which is the overall connection system where the ACB is bringing the power onto the main bus bus system and the outgoing sections are get the power out of it. In this case the so-called 3NJ4 fused switches. <coughs> These kind of typicals we seen sell quite a lot and definitely where we focused on with the present development is to focus on the functions because um, you do not get money for customers for just um, spending some copper items you don't need for these functions. We concentrate definitely on the functions and this is what we have brought on the way with the new Alpha 3200 Echo. How we have made this? Poor concentration of what is necessary to realize the functions you would like to sell. What you can see on this picture is on top of the installation are already installed a second level area of three of used switches additionally. So with the new Alpha 3200 Echo, we use a bus bus system. We do not use a main bus bus system like before and the connections from the devices to this new bus bus system are much shorter 
than in the past because it's located in the center of this switchboard system. What else you can see is, for sure, uh, when doing the new switchboard type in this way, we reduced definitely the complexity of the switchboards. What else can you see on the picture is, everything we do is based on the Alpha 8GK installation system, which is very modular. This offers you quite more opportunities like in the past because you can pick up or you can pick up the elements we offer at the moment from 8GK system and install it into the switchboard system. And last but not least, with the new development, we definitely reduce the elements which have to be installed for realizing the functions. And for sure, we realized in addition to copper. That means overall speaking, you can reduce the sh and shorten the project time in total by the elements you do not need to install anymore. Um, on this slide, I just brought a picture in order to uh, demonstrate you how the old switchboard system and the new one looks like. And the left hand side, you see the old product, the Seco 1600. And on the right hand side, the new one, the first thing you recognize is for sure, you definitely need much less copper installed into this installation. It's around about 30% less copper you need now for the new installation type. Additionally, what you can see is on the left hand side, in the past, we had to build up very complex structures in order to connect the main bus bar system to the so-called submain distribution bus bar. And this is now one area with the new centered position bus bar system. Additionally, we brought elements into the new switchboard system, which are already famous and already known from Siemens switchboard system, the so-called cross wiring department. This is something for sure for being prepared for the future because as you heard before, much more and more systems are going to be installed in these switchboard systems in order to let the devices communicate. And this is the reason why we keep on our strategy to get or to, uh, to block an area on each section type for doing this cross wiring. This is an element very famous known from Silicon S8, Alpha 3200 and other Siemens switchboard systems for sure we keep with the new system. Okay, last but not least, Alpha 3200 Echo in a nutshell. The new switchboard system um, is definitely resource saving. It needs 30% less copper than before. For sure, the configuration is based on Simaris. So you only, not only the the manual installation to build up the switchboard time is reduced. Also, the project time is going to be reduced by our software system. The system itself is built up in a very modular way. That means very high flexibility offered by the 8GK system. And by the central bus bar system, you have much space before, uh, you have much more space like before. Last but not least, for sure, we take care on the installers who has doing the wiring. That's the reason why we brought this cross wiring space into the system. And last but not least, also the cable entrance content is built up in a modular way. So it doesn't matter if you need a lot of a bunch of small cables or big ones. We, you can just take the modular plate out of our basket for your individual demand. That's it from my side. And I'm looking forward to the questions. You bring yes. to us. Thank you very much. First of all, Stephen and Yosef. Um, first question would be: Can I purchase the Civicon S8 exclusively at Siemens? No. There's an, uh, a wide range of uh, panel builders. They are allowed and uh, enabled to sell Civicon, produce and sell Civicon S8. Uh, this is a network of more than 450 uh, panel builders all over the world. Uh, these panel builders are trained and audited on a regular basis. Uh, more about the process for partnering and about Zivacon S8, you can find it on our web page, zivacon.com uh, slash siemens.com slash zivacon. All right. And one more. What incoming sections slash ACB sections are available right now? 
and how are we going to proceed in the future? Related to Alpha 3200, Eko? I, I assume. could not <laughs> yeah. tell you that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, at the moment, we start with the new 3VL uh, size 0 up to 1,250 uh, amps. And for sure, the system we is, will be uh, raised the 3,200 amps line with the size 2 integration. This project is already started, and we are looking forward to the future with the new system. All right. So uh, just a quick check if any other questions came in not right now, but I'd like to thank you both once again for your time. Okay. And you guys have a great day. We thank you and stay thank healthy. You. Stephen and yeah. Joseph. Yeah, you guys too. Thank you very much. Okay, bye. bye.